six is now finished. So I already showed this element. Um, I'll show it again just for the sake of the video. Another thing I wanted to mention, so one last change I made, is this rod here is slightly longer, I think it's longer, than the one in the instructions. The only reason I'm going over these improvements is so I can look back on the video, or anybody building those elements can look at these videos and see the improvements and make and put it in the, into their own machines. So here's the track that connects them. So it starts from way in there, and it comes down, and it's a little hard to see from here, but there's a track in there as well, and there's the arm right there. And I'll review the changes I made to the arm in a little bit. In fact, I will do that right now. It's funny because with this track here, there used to be one of those ties right there. There used to be two red rods. Now it's like a blue rod with a red rod. And this wheel was hitting it. But right now, it just it almost touches it, but it doesn't. So it fits in there perfectly. It's super close. In fact, on the camera, it looks like it's hitting it, but it's not. let's look at this arm so there's the track that leads into the arm so what I decided to do is like I said in the last clip as I moved this part over it used to be lined up with the red rods but now it's offset so now the ball rolls right out the back and it rolls right out into the racetrack and some of the changes I made is I messed around with the pieces here because those keep it balanced nicely. I changed the orange connectors to be there instead of there so that these, because that red connector there is falling off. I guess I didn't have that problem with the old one, but on this one it was. And so in order to do that, I had to shorten this whole thing. They used to be red rods, but now it's moved closer to the axle. And as you can see, it comes right off into the racetrack and it almost touches it again, but it doesn't. So, all the balls are over there, so I'm just going to have to get one real quick. I guess I'll grab two. So I'll show this first and I'll just have the whole path. As you can see, it just comes right out. I don't think, you can see there's no railing over here, so you might be wondering, what if a ball falls in there? I might make an extra track that starts there and goes down over to there, because it's a lot lower. I might even make it go into that orange track right there. But I can't really fit an actual track that would go into here, because, well, this thing is already too low right here. It, it would just be able to be flat from this point to like that point. So I can't do that. But it looks like even if something happened with this arm, let's see if I can make it mess up on purpose. Um, Alright, so even if it didn't come off at this point, it just drops it right there anyhow. And I added this extra rail just in case it drops it right here. And as you can see, it just kind of goes past the railing and aligns into that one. So that should be fine. I'll probably change these supports after a while because they're just plain rods. So they're fine. It's pretty well supported. I just don't like the look of um, straight rods there, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have an arm around here. Yes, yet another arm. <laughs> this ball machine has a lot of arms in it. Okay, 
so I don't know how I'm going to get the whole path together because I have this filming light that's kind of in the way right now. So it's hard to get around this corner. But I'll do my best. And that's it. So this next path is going to be, um, like I said before, well, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm going to have an arm right there and right there. Those are going to be the curving arms from Citadel. Then below here, I'm going to have one of those arms that was in the depot where it comes down and then one of them comes across horizontally. When I build it, you'll see what I mean. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to change that track there. I'm going to have to make it go to that path separator instead because I really don't if the arm starts here, it's, it would be better better just to make it come from here. So I'll get working on that, and I'll come back. It is now spring break, and I've already gotten quite a lot done over the last uh, couple days, so I think there is a weekend in between spring break and Christmas break when I switch this track over on this side, which I said I was going to do in the last clip. All I really had to do differently was remove some um, railing supports right here so that this can pass through. And it goes pretty close, but it doesn't touch it, like lots of other things. So now this side is opened up. Uh, where is it? There it is. This side is opened up, so what I plan on doing is having that come down and go into this right here, which is also new, a spiral bowl. And there's one here and one on the other side a little bit lower and I wanted to make these suspended from up top because the actual people are actually going to see it from this angle right here so there's no supports underneath it but only up above I guess what I should also mention is I did install this arm right here and it goes it'll go down to the um, the arm that I said was going to be down there I'll, get more of that later. So the spiral bowl that's going to lead into this arm is right here. And the track that'll lead into it is right here, which I'm currently working on. It's going to be three rails of tubing, of uh, orange tubing. And it comes in from that pest separator over there. Yeah, I kind of lost focus, but you get what I mean. So it comes around the um, the maze right here. And let's see, this is the view it's going to be. So it doesn't block that element at all. I thought it was going to block it a little bit, but I can still see it plenty good. So next I'm going to continue this track all the way to here then have a little track section that comes out from here and into this arm. Here's what it looks like with orange tubing on it. And I probably won't keep this because, as we all know, this orange tubing is actually really flimsy. And I thought it might be better if I add this middle section here, but it still books around quite a bit. And as you can see, the... the, um... The splicers right in the middle don't really hold it on very well. And there's even some on the outside that aren't holding it on. Plus, there's the fact that from underneath it really doesn't look all that good. As you can see the tubing kind of coming off of the pieces. I guess I'll just get a video of the ball going down it just to see how it looks. It's hard to do this with one hand. And I dropped it. There it is. So what I'll probably do instead is either a helix with this track that goes around, or I'll put one of those orange flexi tubes and it's going to lead into here. 
and I'll do the same, have the same options for the bowl that's on that side that hasn't been done yet. At first I was going to use the um, the thicker tubing, but it it was too stubborn to actually bend so that it could attach to things and it kept on coming off. So I had to use orange tubing, which I kind of knew wouldn't be a good idea, but I wanted to try it anyways. But that's that. So when I come back, those will be gone. All right, so all the tubing is finished on this track section. And I decided to go with the helix right here, and I did keep the top of it. So let's try it out. And there it goes. Try to get it from this side. And that part's not done yet. So I don't know if I'll do that. Um, arm right there that I was talking about earlier because it might take a little bit too long to build. I only have about four more days until spring break is over. So these are the plans for the next track and I'm actually not going to finish this path just yet. So this is this will be path number eight, the last path. And this is just um, plans for the next track. It's going to be 15 flexi rods long. And it's going to go around here, kind of do a helix around that, similar to that one. And it'll go through there, and I plan on having a trampoline right in here in this section. So this is the hollow part of the tower that nothing is in, so I would like to have something in there. So that's what I will be doing next, and hopefully I will not run out of... Uh, those pieces. I shouldn't because I counted. I have about 180 left and that means that I should be able to fill up 15 flexi rods because it uses 12 of them for every um, flexi rod length. So I should have enough, but we'll see.